I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Thailand. And we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. It's Teacher Appreciation Week. Stuco is doing some nice things for teachers. For example, you might have noticed the fun messages on their classroom doors. To further share the love for teachers, we'll let some students shout out some teachers during our next few shows. I got Mr. Adams. He's a great guy. Really love him. I got Mangan. He's a dog. Uh, we got Klossy. Everybody loves Klossy. We got... And then we got Miss Jackson. I think that's it for me. What about yourself? Um, I'm gonna start mine off hot with uh, my wind teacher, Mr. Black. Ooh, that's um, good one. Always brings good energy to the day. Mm, okay. Um, my third period red day, Miss Quigley. Great teacher. Phenomenal. Really knows her stuff. Knows how to teach. Oh, we got Mangan. We got Miss Hanson. We got Miss Echo Barger. We got uh, Miss Smith. We got Mr. Black. We got Truly, my my guy, four L. We got Mr. Hall, we got Miss Gibbs, we got Miss uh, Young, we got Miss Quigley, and we got the tech people, good guys. Uh, Logan, shout out to you. Zach is shouting out teachers on every floor, so today was the basement, but we'll get to more teachers as we move through the week. One day all students can thank teachers is to take a moment to write a thank you message. You can do that by clicking a link in a Canvas announcement. Please complete as many as you want and your responses will be shared with the individual teachers. You can also drop in and thank teachers in person this week. Three of four Seder Spice challenges have been completed, and the first is up in our YouTube channel. That's right, Crusaders. You can watch Miss Myers take on the spicy wings and even spicier questions. Here's a look. Well, welcome to Seder Spice. Can you handle the heat? We are here today with Miss Myers, everyone's favorite psychology teacher, softball coach, and BTS fan. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Terrified. Terrified? Yeah. Are you okay with spicy food? I love spicy food, but I don't handle it well. Don't handle it well. Okay, have you brought anything to prepare yourself for? Um, of course I did. I stole Mr. Stannon's donuts, and then I also bought lemon concentrate. Ramsey-esque for you all. So, so as we get a little bit more heated up, I like to heat up the questions here. Oh, great. So since you were a member of the stage crew for Rock College production of Guys and Dolls, <laughs> Did you always try to find a more important name to call yourself? Do you find the term techie offensive? And do you still find yourself singing a bushel and a peck? <laughs> um, to the first one, I was a manager. So okay. please use that term correctly. My apologies. Uh, for Guys and Dolls, I was the manager. Okay. Right? Fourth wing. With the book. That's a book? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. This is Queen's... Majesty. There's stuff on it. Yep. There's tons of beef stuff on, on sauces. But <laughs> here we go. Okay. This one's hotter. It's warmer. Mm -hmm. It is warmer. Hotter. <laughs> so this one is, we're halfway through. You're doing great. Yeah. Okay. So the halfway through, great. I like to do uh, a part called Explain This Post. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to have some people, but I do a deep delve through social media, and I find an old post, uh -huh. and you can tell me what you think of it. Okay. So, as we have people pull it up, uh, I'm going to have enough, I haven't even tried the wing yet. Oh, yeah. Sure. So, let's try this wing, okay. but this is vertigo. Mm. That might be my favorite one so far. Really? That's tasty. Oh, no. I like it. Yeah. I, I really like the second one, the pineapple one. Okay. So. Yeah. It's pretty good. The so. nose is starting to go a little bit. The nose is? A little bit. Okay. Mouth's fine. All right. We're halfway, so you got some... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, we're going to play Explain This <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> um... <laughs> I feel like rock climbing has been an overnight sensation. What drew you to it? And how did you immerse yourself in such a uh, well-kept secret community? This is seven. This is eight. Oh, okay, cool. What was the question? <laughs> a final one. Wait, okay. Okay. So sad. I hate 
every single person in this room. <laughs> Can she handle the heat? Watch and decide for yourself. Mr. Spanin's challenge in the class battle will drop soon as well, so be watching the channel for two more fun episodes. We will record one or more challenges tomorrow after school. Then this one is a random student trivia challenge. Not a time limit for today's clubs. The gaming club will meet today after school in room five. Contact Mr. Black with any questions. The book club will visit the Kurt Vonnegut Museum today. The author who wrote stories and novels that include the famous Slaughterhouse Five is from Indy. Contact Ms. Wessel with any questions. Any students hoping to join Student Council next year need to pick up an application from Mr. Clossy in room 206. Applications are due back to Mr. Clossy on Wednesday. Contact Mr. Clossy with any questions. Student Ambassador applications are open for next school year. The deadline to apply is Friday. The application is available on Canvas. Contact Ms. Medina with any questions. Now back to Brooklyn for more news. Miss Young is planning a trip to New York City for 2025. A call-out meeting for that trip will be held May 13th at 6 p.m. in the library. That's a week from tonight. Contact Mrs. Young with any questions. All other class students who hope to exempt one or more finals at the end of the semester need to get a permission slip signed by your teachers and guidance counselor. You can pick up an exemption form and return it in the school office. All forms are due Friday. Seniors, please send a photo of yourself as a baby or toddler to Mr. Tooley. You can send it via email to ctooley at senior.org or through Teams. Now it's time for our senior baby pick of the day. See if you can tell who it is. The answer is Jesse Mariscal. We're getting there, but we still need more seniors to submit their picture. Contact Mr. Tooley with any questions. Now back to Thailand for today's sports. On Friday night, the track and field team competed in the conference meet. Congrats to Ty Walker for winning the 400 and to Peter Soto for winning the 1600. Also on Friday, the softball team lost to Bishop Chatard in the city tournament semifinals. Tonight, the track and field team will compete in the city tournament at Marion University at 5 p.m. The boys golf team gets to play at the Brickyard Crossing also at 5. The JV baseball team will host Cardinal Ritter at 5.30. In other sports news, a boys soccer team meeting will be held tomorrow at 2.45 in room 206. Some workouts will be discussed. Contact Coach Clossy with any questions. A wrestling meeting will be held Wednesday in room 2 during when. If you plan to attend, you need to see Mr. Mangan beforehand to sign up. Now back to Brooklyn for more news. Now for our verse of the day. This one is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. It says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. So being weak can actually be a good thing? I know. It seems countercultural, but God did use many flawed and lowly people to carry out his plans throughout the Bible. It's good to know we can not have it all together and still be used by God. That's right. Now let's go to Venice and Bailey for today's forecast. Thanks, Brooklyn. Today we're looking at a high of 77 with cloudy skies with some light, light rain possible. We'll warm up even more into the low 80s the next couple of days, but rain or storms continue to stay in the forecast. Now back to the studio for more news. Thanks, ladies. Nice weather all last week, and then we get back to rain this week. Yeah, I'm not very excited. Me either. Now for our lunch menu. Today we'll have buffalo or barbecue wings with carrots. Tomorrow it'll be nachos and corn with black beans. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. In our latest RG Poll of the Week, in and on our Teacher Appreciation Week, we wanted to cast your votes for teacher superlatives. These are similar to the yearbook superlatives that seniors complete each year. For each category, write in which teachers you choose. Many will include one male and one female teacher. Have some fun with this and we'll air the results in Friday's show. I think Mr. Clossy will win the most votes for the best, for the most chill teacher. Yeah, I agree. That's it for today's Red and Gold show. Stay classy and give that little extra. Teach your children well. Their father's hell did slowly go by.